Okay, we are going to use multiplication and division to solve inequalities. It's really similar to solving equations. It's almost exact. There's one major difference that we talked about on a snow day yesterday. Tuesday? Monday. 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 Okay. All right, so what you need to do is you, when you've got your equation, this says negative 2x is greater than 4. Okay, the big difference, what was the big difference that we talked about on Monday? If you multiply or divide a negative number, you flip the inequality. Okay, when you're solving, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality, and we did that project on Monday to figure out why. So here, this is negative 2 times x. I have to divide by negative 2 on both sides. Okay, because I divided off by negative 2, what happens to my sign? It flips, right? So here we have x and here we have negative 2. And then you graph it. All right? We're at negative 2. Open circle or closed circle? Open. Oh, thank you. Okay, is my variable larger or smaller? Smaller. Smaller. So that is how I graph it. Okay? Check it. Did we do this on Monday? No, we did it last week. We did the graphing last week. I don't remember. Remember the graphing? Open circle or closed circle? In which direction? Why is, why is x less than negative 2? Okay, here's why. Because I can pick, these are all, do you guys agree that these are all the numbers that are part of my solution set? Yes. Like we talked about last yeah, week. What we graph is part of the solution set. So I can pick any number down here. Even if it says or equal to, don't pick the number that you start on. Because if it's or equal to, it's going to be true either direction, right? Pick a different number. So I'm going to pick zero. All right? Is zero over there? Yeah. No. Really? No, it's not. No. 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 What should I pick? Zero's Negative over here. Three. Negative, Negative, Negative three. Negative three. Check. Okay. Negative so I can substitute. This is my check. I can substitute Negative two, or sorry, Negative three in for my x. Write my original inequality. And if this is true, I did it correctly, right? So negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Is positive 6 greater than 4? Yes. 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 That is true. Right. So I graphed it correctly. I did the problem correctly. Like it seems to be, but it's not. You okay? Oh, yeah. Good? Okay, let's try this one right here. This one says x divided by negative 3 is less than 21. What do I do? You divide by negative 2. No. X divided by negative 3. How do I undo divide by negative 3? Times by negative 3. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 3. So here I have x. What's 21 times negative 3? Uh, 63. Negative 63. Negative 63. What happens to my sign? It flips. So why does it flip? Because ah, you're dividing by a negative. Okay, I multiplied by a negative right here. Okay, so I have to flip my sign. And then you guys graph it. You're at negative 63. Open circle or closed circle? Open. Why? Because it's not equal to. Okay, and is my variable larger or smaller than negative 63? Larger. Larger. And then you would check. Pick a number up here. 64. Six. Okay, six divided by negative three. It will be easiest to pick a number negative here two. that is divisible by three because then you're not going to be dealing with fractions, right? Oh. Is less than 21. You write your original one, not from the flip sign. Okay, six divided by negative three is negative two. two. Is that less than 21? Yes. Yes, that's true. You did it correctly. Here's your answer. Can you keep okay. That up on the board? Mm -hmm. All right, we okay so far? Yeah. All right. Easy. Other than that, Excuse all me. of them are ex you're solving exactly like you do equations. Okay. So this one here, we have got x divided by five is less than or equal to negative three. Do I need to write that larger? No. Uh, Wouldn't it be? Okay. So I multiply by five on both sides. Okay. Over here we have x. Over here we have? Negative Do I flip the sign? No. no. Do it be? Okay, no. look at this. Oh. I started with a negative 3. Okay? Oh. Oh. You have to flip the sign if you multiply or divide by a negative number. Did I multiply or divide by a negative number? No. no. I multiplied by a positive number. I don't care if I start with a negative. I care if I multiply or divide by a negative. 
So you leave the sign the same. And then you graph it. it would be We're at negative 15. Open circle or closed circle? Closed. Why? Because it's equal to. Okay. And is my variable smaller or larger? Smaller. Smaller. And then you check. Negative 15. Negative. Well, let's pick a number that's divisible oh. by 5. Uh, negative 20. Negative 20. That will make it easier so you're not dealing with fractions, right? So you go back to your original problem and substitute in the number you chose for your variable. Negative 20 divided by 5 is less than or equal to negative 3. What's negative 20 divided by 5? Negative 4. Negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 3. Is that true? Yes. Yes. So we did it correctly. Okay. You only have to flip it if you multiply or divide by a negative number. If you're multiplying or divide by a, divided by a positive number, you don't have to flip your inequality sign. Remember when we did that number line march on Monday? And when we multiplied, I had two students up here. And when we added and subtracted, they moved the same, right? They didn't switch places. But, and when we multiplied, they stayed the same, right? Yeah. But when we multiplied or divided by a negative, they swapped places. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, so that is why you've got to flip them. We found out those numbers on the number line switch places. Okay, do we need to do more of these? No. No, you good? What do we do? A positive one? Number one. Number one says n divided by three is less than one. That says divide. That says divide. Okay, that's that. I know it's kind of a little, but that says divide. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Multiply by three. Multiply by three, both sides. Which is three. N is less than. Do I switch the sign? No, you don't. No, and then you graph and you check. Every single time, okay? Okay. All right. How about this one over here that's a fraction? Do we need to do that one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That says negative 3 is greater than 2 thirds P. This is 2 thirds times P. You've got a couple options. You can multiply everything by 3 to get rid of the, the denominator, and then you would have 2P over here and negative, nope, negative 9. Here. And then you can divide by two. Or you could just divide by two thirds. I don't care which one you do. It's totally up to you. So here you have P. Am I going to flip my sign? No, we don't. No. And then we have negative three divided by two thirds is multiplying by three halves, right? Yeah. So negative three times three is negative nine. nine two times two. one is two. So it's negative nine over two, which is negative four and a half. You can write it either way. Then graph it and check it. Okay? Good? When you are checking this, you probably want to pick a number that's divisible by 3 and 2 because it's going to be easier when you multiply this fraction. Yeah, 6 or 18 or 12. Okay? All right. You guys good with this? Yeah. Okay. Remember, if you start with a negative and multiply or divide by a positive, you do not need to flip. It's only if you multiply or divide by the by the negative. All right. Okay, we're good. We're done. Thank you. You can stop.